Good morning, campers. We are in Baker City, Oregon at the Baker Truck Corral. I'm having some breakfast here. And uh, just taking a little bit of a break, not too long, not too long. We got uh, three more minutes before I've got my first 30 of the day done. I usually do a couple. Uh, we are parked next to one of our Wilson Logistics heavy haul folks with one of the fancy 14 footer trailers. Oh, let's get you a better view of that. There you go, 14 foot heavy haul trailer, four axles on the trailer, four axles on the truck. Gosh, I hope you guys can actually see me. I'm not too zoomed in. Um, <laughs> we are in Baker, Oregon. I'm eating breakfast. I've got a nice breakfast of Ritz Bits sandwiches. Yeah, peanut butter Ritz Bits. Those little those little bags they sell in the uh, in the truck stops of Ritz Bits sandwiches. 450 calories. It's as many calories as a cheeseburger in a bag of crackers. <laughs> Almost cheeseburgers like 500 some. Um, <laughs> Someone put a uh, sticker on a Prime trailer over there. Um, but yeah, so we're chilling here in Baker. Uh, we're heading east again. We uh, we had a really great night last night. They did the thing where I go to sleep and then a loaded trailer appears next to me and they need me to haul it. <laughs> this one's worth like 3000 something dollars. And it's like, yes. Yes. Love it when that happens. No, no work required for me. Loaded trailer just magically appears 30 feet away. <laughs> I get to swap loads with the driver and just all the profit becomes mine. Um, <laughs> that's one of those things that happens when uh, when the company starts to trust you is you get favors like that. This is kind of a payback for a favor I did last week where uh, I repowered a load. So they had a company driver. I was I got kind of screwed over by Walmart yesterday up in Hermiston. They did a six hour unload on me and then I had to off duty drive to a um, off to drive to a truck stop. So, um, we could have cheesed it, but I promised, I, I, I was telling, uh, our logs person that I'm trying to get in the habit of just running our logs as though we're already on the ELDs instead of, we're currently on AOBRs, uh, automatic onboard recording devices. And, um, AOBRD, but the ELD, the electronic log devices have no uh, no wiggle room. Uh, so our old AOBRs, they can, you can kind of cheese them if you've got a parking spot close enough to a customer where you can move from the customer's dock to the parking spot without it realizing you've moved. Um, so I'm trying not to do that. I'm encouraging a lot of other drivers on our fleet to do the same, to act like it's already an ELD because uh, we need to get in the habit because they will become ELDs by the end of the year and then we will have no, no wiggle room. So that meant, um, moving around the customer once they finished uh, once they finished unloading my trailer I switched to on duty with the uh, yard move is the comment um, and once I got to the exit to the customer to pull out another road I switched to off duty driving drove to a truck stop um, that truck stop had a truck wash by it so I switched back to on duty drove to the truck wash got my trailer cleaned and then on duty to a parking spot in the truck stop where I sat for the rest of the day. So because it took six hours to uh, to unload my trailer, that meant I didn't get a break in at my customer because uh, I was just I was asleep at the customer. So that six hours only counted as what we call a two hour break, which is um, half of a split sleeper birth break. The, the split sleeper birth has to be one chunk of at least two hours and one chunk of at least eight hours. So a six hour break counts as the two hour chunk so when I went and moved over to the truck stop, I had no hours and would not get hours for driving for work. Uh, I would not get hours until 8 p.m., uh, eight hours later. And I was wide awake because I had slept for six hours at my customer, and six hours is like a normal night's sleep for me. Um, sometimes. <laughs> this week I was pretty caught up on the sleeping because I had to sleep in day before, uh, day before the delivery in order to deliver at 5 a.m., um, so I was, I was pretty caught up on rest, and then I just did six hours of sleep with the customer and woke up fully rested, but not legally <laughs> not legally able to drive. So I, I hung out at the truck stop all day. I told him, like, look, I'm wide awake. I'm not sleeping. 
I'm going to be sleeping at night when I get my hours back. So just like bear with me and see if we can't find a load that I can pick up in the morning. Um, and they found a load that was nearby and they had a company driver go get it. Are you going to be able to squeeze next to me? Yes, you are. Nicely job transportation of Mississippi. It's a generic name. Um, I had to read that in the mirror. That's why it was difficult. <laughs> oh no, it's total, total transport. Okay. I didn't realize there was a word in the triangle. Neat. Um, so yeah, they had a company driver nearby, went and picked up this load for me and met me at the truck stop because the load dropped in the middle of the night and I was asleep. And it's like, that's such a nice thing for them to do. It's just like a, uh, a return favor for doing the repower last week that I did. So that was cool. That was cool. We got a nice loaded trailer delivered straight to me. Uh, didn't have to deal with the shipper at all. All the seals matched up. The weights are balanced. Um, and because the company driver got the scale ticket, uh, the company paid for the scale ticket, so I didn't have to reweigh because the information on the scale ticket matches what my my gauge in the truck says. Um, that would be this one, the lovely blue gauge that says we're under thirty four thousand pounds. Um, so yeah, that's ah, that's cool. I like that. Oh, just. That was such a nice thing to wake up to this morning. And it's one of the reasons I really like driving here. So yeah, that's how my day is gone. Uh, that's why you do favors because then favors get done back to you and it's pretty great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. My name's Elio Dare, Acer Angel 17 on Twitch, Elio Dare everywhere else, especially Twitter. Come say hi on Twitter at Elio Dare, no apostrophe in the username. Uh, the apostrophe is just for my actual name. Um, which is confusing for people and computers alike. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.